After a Corsair's devastating fail called the IQ QX120, let's try again. These are the brand new Corsair IQ Link LX120, their attempt to repair the damage. As a small reminder, these QX120s, they were bad, like really, really, really bad on, on, on everything. And I know these LX120s look almost identical, but they are not. They are still part of the whole Corsair IQ system, so they use that USB-C-like reversible plug and they can be daisy-chained using the double-sided adapter as well as the uh, loot helping thingy, plus the magnets are like really strong. But it's the details that differ, one of which I didn't notice until I was doing the B-rolls. The new one has one RGB strip on the frame instead of two. That, that changes everything. Okay, but what I want to focus on today is things that may or may not impact performance or noise. But to be honest, the differences are so small or so minimal. We still got the similarly shaped seven blades, the new ones just seem to me minimally pointier, but uh, I have no clue how you would measure the pointiness of a, of a fan wing, but they look pointier. We got a identically sized central up, the new one just has a rounded top and a new sticker. And the first actual difference I found was the frame itself, where before the thickest part of the frame was about 7.4 millimeters, the new one got that number down to 6.4. Thinner border means longer blades, means possibly better performance at a similar speed. That's what I want to see. Another big change are the rails that keep the motor in place. Previously we had like four thick pieces and now we got Corsairs air guide technology basically a shit ton of smaller rails that claim to help to cool more effectively due to their shape and that might have a huge impact on the noise actually because having like four big ass rails that are just straight that that you don't want to hit air against something that is flat that that's usually not a good idea on a side note, compared to the QX120s, the temperature sensor is gone. No more in-fan measurements when it comes to the LX120s, which, sure, maybe somebody wanted that, but they were also hella expensive. And maybe these here perform better. They do perform better. I know that they perform better. Other than that, the fan looks very, very similar RGB-wise. I do see a small difference. I think the milky effect on the white ring and the blades is done a bit better or worse depending on what you want to have. The color shift looks a bit more fluid and it is not as easy to count the individual LEDs because uh, yeah the milky acrylic does a better job and if that was something that you wanted to see sorry and if this is what you want to see then great. Other than that, we still got an IQ fan, so we still got the IQ stuff. The new LX120s are available in a single, dual or triple pack. We got the triple pack today containing the fans, three sets of quick screws, which are just amazing, and the IQ link system hub, including two connection cables, a longer 600mm one with a 90 degree connector and a shorter one. So you are able to create two physical blocks of fans, let's say two in the front, one in the top, from the get-go. For three fans or for a triple pack, I, I think that's just fine. I, I consider that as, as enough cables. For the IQ part, it's the usual thing. PCIe 6 pin for power, USB 2.0 header for control, and from there it's IQ. You like it or you don't, but it does the job. And on that note, I observed something very important. Out of the box, the new LX120s, and 140 for that matter, we, I am A-rolling them just after this one. Out of the box, both of them had that same fan ramping stuff where uh, if you, you, you set it to 100% out of nowhere, it, it did like a wee and it was hella annoying. Then I didn't, uh, during uh, like benchmarks, I did an update on the controller because I switched the fans for the 140s and I needed the reset and boom, ramping on. Whatever update happened there, because it was actually a real update, not just like a false reset, it uh, disappeared. Funnily enough, you can still hear it if you know what you're looking for. The ramping is still happening, but if you now jump from 0 to 100 in software, the increments are, are kept artificially basically so small that you don't notice the ramping anymore. So it's a cool way of solving this and I'm glad that Corsair took care of that. And now let's cover some stats. This time we got an up to 2400 RPM fan pushing up to 69.9 CFM at up to 5.22 millimeters of H2O. 5.22! Just number-wise, this is 
crazy high. And if we put that next to the QX120, the, the world just stops making sense if you ask me. The claimed decibels went down by one, whilst every other number rose without touching the speed. But do these claimed numbers actually reflect in performance? Let's start with the case benchmarks where we recycle the air within a box using two fans and we measure the performance of a passive Nokia P1. And at 2400 RPM, the number is indeed high or low. Depends on how you want to look at it, but at 42.9 degrees C above ambient, the new LX120s managed to land on the upper quarter of our chart. Now, they are not the highest performer overall or even the highest course error performer because the RX120s landed marginally higher. But compared to the old QX120s, this is a, a world's difference with a 1.8 degrees C above ambient switch from A to B, this is a completely different fan. And even I am shocked what a slightly pointier blade tip and a 1mm thinner border can do. So overall, now we are talking about a good fan, but what about the noise? I have officially no clue how they came up with that 1 dB difference. It is, it is a world's difference. The new LX120 performs like an actual freaking fan. It is not perfect, do not get me wrong, but at least it's comparable to something. Overall, it landed somewhat close to the RX120 from start to finish, just a bit worse almost all across the board. And compared to alternatives, let's take the Fantex M25, it is slightly better at high speed, but then drops behind once the speed goes down. And then of course, compared to ultra quiet fans like the RS120 Max, which is kind of unfair because it's a 30mm thick fan, or the NF8 12X25, it doesn't really stand a chance, but at least it's comparable to something, unlike the QX120. So it's not the best fan, definitely not. It's basically a slightly worse case fan than the Corsair RX120. But given that the QX and LX have the same freaking blade design, that's what optimization looks like. And what about radiators? For radiators, we benchmark on top of a 80 mm red and we measure the water temperature above ambient to see how low a fan can keep it. And at 10.3 degrees C above ambient for the water, we did not only get a huge win against the QX120, but also the RX120 started to fall behind, making the LX120, well, so many Xs, I, I'm getting confused here, but making the LX120 the best radiator fan from Corsair for now. But also in the grand scheme, 10.3 is an excellent result, placing the LX at the top portion of the graph. The noise to performance line pretty much reflects the same thing, outperforming the QX by a long shot and the RX120 by a bit. The only Corsair fan that came even close to uh, this was the RS120 Max, which only did so after the LX was spinning slow enough to make their performance or noise match. Looking at alternatives, it's still pretty good, outperforming the M25 from Fantex by a long shot, but not quite managing the Nokia NF812X25 was capable of when performance was matching. It is definitely a radiator fan. And don't, don't get me wrong, it is a very capable case fan, or at least it will do a fine job, much, much better than the QX. But as for cases, there are still better alternatives, even from Corsair themselves. But the LX truly shines on rats. It can deliver high performance or high speed performance whilst keeping a good noise to performance ratio when you make it spin slower. Not perfect, the ladder goes much much higher than this, but the best radiator performance overall from Corsair right now. And overall, unlike the QX120, I like this fan. It is still a bit on the older school side when it comes to RGB implementation and you will be forced to enter the wonderful world of proprietary software or how much I like that. But it can do the job, which can't be said 
about the QX. And to my surprise, it's actually less expensive. I mean, sure, there are features that are missing, basically, like the temperature sensor, that, that one is just gone, and it definitely has an impact on price. But we are down from the original 170 euros for triple pack to 135 per triple pack. I mean, this is still hella expensive, don't get me wrong, it's still way too expensive, but I mean, we, we are starting to go into the right direction. So for who is this fan? Well, in my opinion, it's not a for who, it's a for what. And for me, the LX120 is there to replace the QX120. Or it is what the QX120 should have been from the start. It is a very, very good radiator fan and a good case fan. So let's just all forget that the QX existed in the first place and, and there you go. But yeah. It is still very expensive and even for the same price you are able to get better fans. You would just not be in the, the IQ world if that was something that you were looking for. But okay, this should be everything on the Corsair LX120. And at this point, a huge thank you to Corsair for sending it over. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server. So if you wanna join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership. So if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to write a very nice letter to the Internet Archive requesting the removal of the QX120's product page. We gotta start somewhere, and I think if that page already disappears from the archives, then we may be able to achieve forgetting. Anyway, thank you for watching and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the brand new Noxia NF-A12 X25 G2 PWM. If you are already shopping in the category of very expensive fans, this might be for you. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.